the third year uh, doing this. I started in 2017 doing uh, elephant work, uh, but later on ventured into the rhino. And uh, I came to Lewa last year in August. I've been doing this for one year. I love the job. This is what I studied in school, and I've I'd always wanted to do this as I'm my career job. This rhino has some blood stains on the head. So that's an indication that it had a fight. So there are fight wounds on the head, but they are minor, so it cannot raise any alarm. So this just indicates that these are territorial male. Maybe it had a fight with, other, with another male that was trying to invade his territory. Um, they are very sensitive animals. They have a strong sense of uh, smell and uh, the hearing ability is also very high compared to humans. So they can detect you from very far if you are making noise or if they can get your smell. Uh, but they have uh, poor eyesight, so they can see within 30 meters. So if you look at this rhino, we are just beyond 30 meters. That's, and uh, we are against the wind, so that it cannot get our smell, hear us, it cannot see us. So that's uh, one of the techniques we use when you're approaching the rhino. Then there is a, a friend, the rhino, the, the bird, it's called uh, the red beard dog specker. So it will actually alert the rhino when there is danger or there is a human in the, a human being nearby. Yeah, so it will make a certain sound and you'll see it uh, getting off the animal, coming to where we are. So uh, if you are keen, uh, there is a bird that made a sound and that's why you see the rhino is alert. These rhinos were brought here uh, when the first the sanctuary was built in 1984. These rhinos were picked from the north, northern parts of Kenya. So uh, when poaching increased, these are rhinos that remained in this area and they were picked, brought here to a sanctuary to a safe place for them. So uh, and black rhinos are endemic to Kenya. The eastern black rhino endemic to Kenya. These white rhinos, they are southern white rhinos, so they were brought from South Africa. So a um, few individuals were brought from South Africa. Lewa had about uh, uh, eight individuals that were brought from South Africa, and you can see the population has increased. We are talking about 102 rhinos as of today. Something I love about the rhinos, they are peaceful. They are very, very rare cases we've had of rhinos getting out and maybe to create conflicts between, uh, to create with the human beings. So they are very rare cases. One case we've only recorded is uh, the rhino that got out and only, it only fed on a few uh, potato leaves. Actually, it was not feeding, they actually stepped on a, potato, a few potato leaves and came back and we haven't recorded any cases. So for rhinos and human beings, when it comes to conflicts, there are very few cases or it's rare to find. When I look at that rhino, it has been ear notched on the right side, on the upper part, which is 10, on the lower part, which is 50. On the left part, on the left ear, it has been ear notched on the upper, middle and lower. So that's nine. If you take 60 plus 9, that's 69. So this is rhino number 69, and the name we've given to this rhino is Rosie. And uh, she is a female. Uh, Rosie has given birth to three calves. Two have died. Um, two were, did not survive. Um, they were preyed on by the, the lion, so they did not survive. That was the first calf and the third calf. So this is the second calf to Rosie. She lost the third calf last year. So she's pregnant um, and uh, from our predictions, next year she'll deliver the fourth calf. <laughs>